Hey there, Scott here with Saws on Skates. French cleats are a simple, strong way to hang heavy items on the wall. Today I'm going to show you two easy ways to make a French cleat and how to install it on the wall. Grab your personal protective equipment and meet me in the workshop. We'll start by making a French cleat using a table saw. French cleats are usually made from a piece of wood that's about 5 inches wide. So I started by ripping this piece of 3 quarter inch plywood to 5 inches. Then I located the center of the board and used a speed square to mark the intersection of those two points. Next I used a digital angle finder to set the blade angle of the table saw. I centered the 45 degree mark on the blade. I tested the setup on a few pieces of scrap wood. Then I adjusted the fence until both halves were the same size. When I was happy with the setup, I cut the cleats for my project. Next we'll make a French cleat using a circular saw. First I used my Craig Multimark to measure in 2 inches on each side. This rigid foam insulation will protect my workbench when cutting the wood. I'm going to use my Craig Straight Edge Guide to make this cut. Next I set my circular saw to 45 degrees. I'll leave a link in the description box below about how to use the Craig Straight Edge Guide, including 29 step-by-step -step photos. Next I used my Craig Multimark to measure in 2 and 3 quarter inches on each side. I set the saw back to 90 degrees and made the cut. Let's install the cleat on the wall. I made the French cleat so I could hang this yard tool rack in my garage. I'll leave a link to the free plans for the yard tool rack in the description box below. On the back of the rack, I placed one of the cleats with the wider side facing out and the bevel facing towards the bottom of the rack. I attached a piece of wood the same thickness as the cleat on the bottom of the rack. This piece makes the rack stand straight up and down on the wall. I positioned the rack where I wanted it in my garage and made a mark at the top of the rack. Next, I measured to the bottom of the cleat. Then I measured down that distance from the mark on the wall. I placed the bottom of the cleat on this mark with the short side facing the wall and the bevel facing up. I used a stud finder to locate the studs along the line that I drew. Next, I placed the cleat on the line and marked the center of each stud on the cleat. Then I drilled countersink holes in each mark. The cleat was attached to the studs with two and a half inch wood screws. Click subscribe now so you never miss one of my quick and easy tutorials or free project plans. Skate down to the description box for a link to the complete tutorial about making French cleats, including 27 step-by-step -step photos and bonus tips.